lessons, and here's another lesson. Today we're going to concentrate on uh, doing the potatoes at the start of a reel. Uh, we're going to do uh, also the pull-ons, pull-offs, and introduce a jig at the same time. Um, what I call the potatoes is basically when you start a song. You can do it at the seventh fret when you when you go at your seventh fret. It doesn't matter which string, except well, the small string. On you, and you just ring the other one underneath, and you cross pick it. That song uh, that I featured, 100 Pipers, I would start on the D string and ring the string underneath. And you can slide from the fifth fret. Um, also, another way you can do to kickstart the reels, there's that, that D position. Bottom. You got your G position here and your C position. Those are uh, fiddle positions. And then you would start your reel or your jig. The spread from the fifth fret to the second fret. Here I'm on the third. Uh, excuse me, on the on the first string, second fret, second string, fifth fret. And that can be done on either way on each string. But on the song that I'm featuring right now, is from sliding from the fifth to the seventh, and ringing the other string underneath. For that song, it'll be on the D string. And you'll notice also on the mandolin that at your it's at your seventh fret that your your note's gonna be the same underneath. And the reason for that is because when you think of the guitar Guitar is at the fifth fret where it sounds the same, but being upside down, if I, for an example, go on the fifth fret on the small string, and you sound the one underneath uh, on top, I mean, it's going to be the same note but an octave apart, being upside down, obviously. Then for the mandolin, that sweet spot's on the seventh fret. That's for all guitar players out there. And if I do that song slow, I'm gonna start second fret, open underneath on the second string, and go to the fourth fret. Then go on your D string, second fret. ringing the string underneath. And here comes where I was talking about um, hammer-ons and pull-off. You're going to do a... You just strum once and you let the fingers do the rest. Fifth fret and they slide it to seven. 
open underneath. You notice I'll even put an open note. A chord. You can practice like the chords from the last last lesson. chops also on that goon chop all right so you guys can tinker around with that so you got your potatoes to start your reel um, you got um, hammer-ons and pull-offs in there, and plus you can practice the chords from the previous course, and that's um, key of A, A, D, A, E, A, D, A, E, A, and you go. All right, you can play around with that until the next lesson. Cheers.